thank you very much, uh, Honorable uh, Benoit, uh, our Senator. Let me also recognize the presence of Honorable Blackmore, Honorable McIntyre, my friend, uh, uh, Mr. Nichols Shanks Esprit, the chairperson of the Village Council. Of course, you had elections, and I'm not sure who's going to be, but I suspect she might still be. <laughs> <laughs> the long serving clerk, and of course, all of you, the wonderful people of, of Lube. As you know, it was um, less than three months ago when uh, I came here to speak with the, with the young men in particular of Lube. As a matter of fact, it was on March 27th, 2017, in this very same facility upstairs, that I met with you, the young people of Lube, and we discussed some of the challenges faced and how we could work together to solve them. Afterward, I immediately began working on finding solutions, making sure that no stone was left unturned. Today, just in time for Fisheries Day this coming Monday, I am here to announce that we will be handing over three 20-foot, 100% fiberglass fishing boats to help advance the vibrant fishing community of Lube and those boats and all but motors are valued in excess of $105,000. The vessels are, are all equipped with built-in cooler for safe storage of your fish because it's important as you catch them, you can have them iced, and when they get on shore, they are fresh as if they were still in the water. And in addition to this, to ensure the well-being of our brothers and sisters while at sea, I am including some basic safety equipment because it's important for you you know even if you can swim like a fish it's important for you to have all of this safety equipment on board because you never know what's happening it's a very difficult profession fishing this investment in lube is in keeping with the government's ongoing mandate to advance agricultural and fishing communities through the country the government is fully appreciative of the important role that fishing villages play in contributing to our food supply. But it is also an opportunity to create employment. And that's what the government has been seeking to do across the country with the Small Business Development Unit. Providing grants to create jobs because while the government may not be able to employ everybody in the government system, but through this small business unit and the provision of grants to many individuals across Dominica, we're creating jobs. So it's important for us to appreciate those efforts. Today is the continuation of the government's commitment to the large number of families who depend on the sea and fishing to make a living. In addition to the fishing industry, we have also listened to your calls for lighting of the playing field. And I am pleased to tell you that since we met, I approved the funds which are now at the Village Council. And I was informed, <laughs> and I was informed that the contractor has already begun working. With regards to my promise to engage all of you in the cleanup and beautification of the community through the NEP, an initial group of 10 people has already been retained and will commence work on July 17, just about a week from today. <laughs> Lastly, with the new budget year fast approaching, I want to reiterate the promise I made when we last met, to continue to assist small businesses here in Lube and in the rest of the country. We have already, in Lube, improved the lives of over 50 people by investing a quarter of a million dollars. And I assure you that this is just the beginning. Because every unemployed person we can get employed is one unemployed person less in the country. <laughs> so today, the beneficiaries who are made up of three teams are as follows. One, the first team is Jason Telemach and Yannick Lawrence. The second team, 
is Emmanuel Seraphin and Earl Warrington, and the third team, Colonel Jack and Lan Walter. These are six young men who from tomorrow morning will be gainfully employed and who will be able to provide who will be able to provide for their families with no difficulties. So I say to you, this is an investment in yourself. It is not an investment in Roosevelt Scary. What you, how you treat these this boats will depend on how successful you are. The government has placed trust and confidence in you. The only appreciation I'd like to see is that a year from now, you can boast of how much fish you have sold and how much money you've made and how much you have been able to save and you are, you are better off one year from now. Okay, so I am really asking you and pleading with you, young men, stay on the safe side of life. Stay on the narrow path. And where the government can assist, to assist in you in staying on this narrow path, we shall assist. But your future is in your hands. You decide what you do with it. Okay? So today I hope that the increased catch generated by these boats will not only help the owners, but the wider community by improved food security and hopefully even a better price of fish for the residents of Lube. I again, I again commit to continue to work with the fisher folks and all of you who demonstrate an interest in small business development and personal development. For this year, we would have invested through the small business unit about $10 million across the country. And in the new budget coming, we will spend even a, sim a similar amount to help sustain small businesses, but also create new ones. Because we believe that it is through the development of small businesses across Dominica, that's, how, that's one very important way of growing the economy and eradicating unemployment in Dominica. So there is an absolute firm commitment on the government. And you can see these boats are brand new. They were, they were built by a local artisan from Dominica, from Layo, who is an expert boat builder. And uh, I know many of the beneficiaries visited Layo several times during construction. Um, and some of you, I believe, also helped in building the boat because you wanted it to be built as quickly as possible. So I wish you all the best. Do not compromise on your safety. And stay on the safe and narrow. And I look forward to myself one day coming to buy fish from you, coming to buy fish from you, okay? So I wish you all the best. You are, you are in a partnership. You need to open an account as a partnership in the credit union and save, save and manage your finances properly, okay? Not every, every time you come and you sell, you just share the money by the bay. And, and then the following day, you cannot buy gas. This is, no, this is not how it's going to run. As a matter of fact, we in the government will, will come back to you to provide you with some training as to how to manage and to conduct your business. Okay, so we're not only giving you the boat to go out there, we will also be giving you the tools required to better able to manage your businesses and be successful. And recognize... Today, you know, everything in life, we have to start small, you know, and you will build on it. You know, there's an old saying that say, Gwen Dewey kick off a sack Dewey. It is grain of rice which make a bag of rice. And you have to drop your first grain 
to start building the bag of rice. So this is a seed that we are investing in you. You have to water it. You have to tend, tend to it and let it grow. And let you be yourself the, the most successful fisherman, not only in Dominica, but in the Caribbean. So God bless you, my brothers. Um, we have to be productive. This is our country to build. We have to be positive. And that's what the government brings. So whenever the government comes to your community, it is about how we can work with you to make life better for you, your family, and the country. We, we don't come here to talk to you about negativism. You know, we come here to talk about positive vibes. And I will make certain commitments to the communities of Lubia, the catchment area, at the Village Council inauguration on Monday at 5 o'clock. Thank you very much. And let me thank um, my staff from the Office of the Prime Minister, and in particular, Mrs. Uh, Henderson, and also Mr. Floyd Capitole, who have been very helpful. Very helpful in the efforts. And also thank uh, my friend and colleague, Senator Binwa, for his leadership. You know, I always keep telling people of the Rose of South, he is not the parlor. He is just helping. He's just helping. And we have to be grateful for that. Thank you. God bless you.